Hey world, what's up? Matte liquid lip colors are so popular lately, it comes to no surprise that MAC finally jumped on this train. I'm very excited for this collection, which is supposed to be permanent now. Is MAC delivering what they promised? <laughs> On January 7th, these babies will be in stores, but for now you can order online or you can just wait, check out this review, consider the product, and then make up your mind. I picked up a couple of these liquid lipsticks and for the past few days I've been wearing them, trying them on, using them for work, just testing out the product, checking out what they look like, how they feel, just so I can give you guys a true, honest opinion. The colors I decided to get for myself are Dance With Me, Back In Vogue, Divine Divine, and last but not least, Feel So Grand. What I'm wearing right now is probably my favorite, Dance With Me. Let's talk about the packaging first. These lippies have a bullet-like cap, just like the original lipstick tube, and I can appreciate that because this is what MAC is known for, so they're recreating that look. I think it's iconic. Another thing I can appreciate here is that the bottom half of the liquid lipstick shows the color of the product. This is perfect. How many times do you look into your bag or you're looking through your drawer trying to find that perfect color and you just can't and you have to like open up each one of them, see what you're looking for. This makes it easy to identify what you want. Moving on to the texture, the texture is not sticky. They're not shiny at all. On the contrary, they're very, very dry. This is why you wanna be quick when you're applying these because if not, the color can start to look streaky. You also want to wait for it to dry before you start applying more. If not, things can actually start looking messy. The consistency is like paint. They're very fluid and they move easily. So really here, less is more. And I know that can be hard for some people. I'm guilty. I tend to do that. I pack on everything. I tend to use a lot of product. I just like to waste, waste, waste. <laughs> but don't do that here. The reason you don't want to wear a lot of this is because it feels weird. It actually weighs down your lips and it can crumble off. I tried it. Don't do it. Don't try this at home, kids. So just thin layers here. Just apply once and if you need to redo it, then take it off and put it on again. Again, these are dry, so if you have a problem with that, don't forget to exfoliate and moisturize your lips. That will really help. About the look, I feel like the medium to dark colors look better. The lighter colors look chalky. However, the lighter colors are easier to apply. The darker ones can really just get messy. The collection has a number of beautiful colors. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have any browns, which I thought, hmm, that's weird. So points off there, Mac. I'll be honest, it might take a little bit of getting used to when it comes to applying these. It's not like putting on regular lipstick. This is a completely different beast. But as far as long wear and long lasting, these really do the trick. At my job, I usually do 10 hour work days and I only really had to touch up like once. If you want to give these a try, they retail for $20 here in the United States. If you give them a shot, let me know what you think in the comment box below. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more fabulosity. Bye world! Give me a comment, let me a comment. Yeah, just do it. Can I juggle these? Can I? No, I can't.